A heavy deployment of armed police and military guard the presidential palace and parliament building in Nairobi following weeks of protests. And across the country, scenes never seen before in Kenya. Here, a ruling party MP is chased away by an angry crowd of her constituents in Rift Valley province. Demonstrations against a finance bill that would have raised taxes began last month. The bill was dropped after protesters entered parliament, dozens of people were killed by police and demonstrators have since been calling for the resignation of President William Ruto and his government. It's prompted a backlash against MPs who voted for the bill and government officials, especially those who were wealthy and widely accused of corruption. Remain in power over. The ruling party's chief whip in parliament told us he's grown rich from a regional business empire. Those who are protesting on corruption are genuine. It is true. We have rampant corruption in government. You can't blame the current regime of rampant corruption when much of the corruption is deeply rooted on historical matters right from independence. Just weeks ago, it was normal for politicians to be revered at almost any event they attended and sometimes hand out cash with no questions asked about where it came from. Meanwhile, more than a third of Kenyans live in poverty and wages have been stagnant for more than a decade. This is what remains of the office of another ruling party MP after an angry crowd burnt it down. The backlash is visible not just on the streets but also online where campaigners are using artificial intelligence to help people look up politicians past corruption scandals and launching websites to help people to collect signatures to recall their MPs. Politicians have stopped posting videos like this one from an MP showing off his new helicopter. All I know is at the call. John Githongo, who's been campaigning against corruption for more than 30 years, says he's never seen anything like it. It snapped, especially for this uh, younger generation that seems to have a much keener sense of equity. The anger and the disgust with, uh, with these leaders was always there. So I don't think they're going to get away from it. I don't think that people are going to forgive them. President Ruto's promised reforms. Protesters say that mass arrests, dozens of abductions and violent gangs turning up at demonstrations all show that his government can't be trusted. Police in central Nairobi are trying to stop any more protests. But many people say something's changed and politicians won't have it quite as easy ever again. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.